Home to some of San Diego's most progressive restaurants and bars, the Hillcrest neighborhood is where you'll find Hash House of Go-Go. This place puts crazy twists on classic farm food, including a gargantuan hand-hammered pork tenderloin, rarely seen west of Indiana. Winner of countless People's Choice Awards for Best Breakfast and Brunch, Hash House reels folks in with outrageously large portions, like the wildly popular bacon waffles topped with sage-fried chicken. A tasty tower that packs over 2,000 calories. We've got a to-go we box. A to-go box? With rosemary. We have glasses for you since I'm already wearing some. We got a pair of tongs, a saw with the blade upside down. So we're going to be doing something really different. And then some flowers. 3610, keep going, keep going. And we are clear. We got it. Yeah, Pull we'll it. get first. Cool. The race is on, the pace will quicken. Build a stack of waffles and chicken. Stack it carefully, stack it tall. If not built right, it may fall. That's what the rosemary's for in our bag. I got it, let's do it. This challenge takes a Hash House of Go-Go favorite to new heights, with each player building a family-style food-high chicken and waffle tower. Chefs are required to prepare four bacon waffles for their dish before they fetch 12 pre-cooked ones from the kitchen. Next, teams must prep the garnish. Stack the waffles, top off the tower with two pieces of sage fried chicken, and add a maple reduction and barbecue sauce. The key is remembering to use the rosemary skewers from the backpacks to stabilize the shaky pile. But finished towers must measure 12 inches tall, not counting the rosemary. Co-owners Johnny Rivera and Andy Beardsley will verify the height before teams attempt to carry their towers to customers on the patio. During delivery, chefs cannot touch the food to balance it, and if towers topple within 10 seconds, the penalty is to start from scratch. There are the flags right flags there. Flags are right here. Okay. I got your backpack. Yep. Okay. So look, I'm going to pour. It's all about even coating, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. OK, so Steve, I think medium high on the heat. Our challenge is to first make four waffles that have an inlay of bacon. How you doing? I'm doing good. I'm going to start your bacon good. under. This batter looks really fluffy. I think they'll make really good waffles but it takes time for those waffles to cook. Let's go get our waffles. We have to then go to the kitchen, collect 12 more waffles. We have to build a tower, finish the waffles we've made in the press. Oh yeah, those are sexy. And we have to have chicken. So we're making like a 12 inch tall chicken and waffles. So tell me what's your plan? Does it start to do a little bit what's of What's my plan? So Chris and I start working with the garnishes to compose this tower of power of brunchy goodness. All right, let's get onto the waffles. What do you think? My initial idea was to do basically a pyramid. It would be anchored, but there's not enough waffles. OK, Steve, start, start chopping. chopping them. You think start chopping? Yeah, I think start chopping. Look, I'm good. No, 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 stand your ruler up straight. I'm a little shy. Dude, this is crazy. Our task is to assemble a 12-inch version of their chicken and waffles at Hash House at Go-Go and walk it out to the patio downstairs to this table and let it stand for 10 seconds. Chef, is that high enough? Nope. Working with these at all. The key here is there's a way to make it tall. And what that is is to take one piece of chicken and stand it up lengthwise. Ah! <laughs> so instead of giving myself half an inch, Giving myself five. You got the height, but it may be difficult to carry that one. Whoa! Dude, don't it's not as easy as you think. I'm sticking the skewer in. I'm gonna go sideways with it a little bit. I like how you think. I'm good to go, man. I think you got the height. I got the height, I got the looks, the kill. Now it's about saucing, compadre. Chef, nice approach. Am I ready right. to walk, sir? That looks great. All right, Mr. Sanchez. The victory has not been had yet, because I still have to deliver this to a table that's a good 30 feet away. They're, They're out, the door. out the door already. I actually am behind Chris, and I'm channeling every sort of still muscle in my body to make sure that this thing doesn't move. Who's your daddy? Take it easy, buddy. Aron, wait a second. Hands up. 10 seconds. Thank you so Thank much. You. Go, 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 Bye, go. guys. Am I tall enough? That's good. Chef, what do you think? 
You're good to go. We get our stacks in place. They're somewhat teetering, but I don't know how much more solid they can be. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Don't let it fall. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Dude, this is totally gonna fall. go back and do it again. As we're starting from scratch, I'm a little stressed out. We gotta get these things up. This time we try the card shuffle thing, where we like lean them on each other a little bit more and then get the skewers back in. You're good to go. Judge approves and we go out the door again. We get our stacks to the table. It only has to be up for 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one. We get our stacks up, the judge approves. 